we've driven over the Caddo Drive area and right back there there was a turn for Highway 7 so if you are bringing a bigger RV that might be the best way to go other than coming in past the state park like we have done there's squirrels I don't know if you saw either one of them we saw a deer as we was leaving the state park to come check these spots out and there is a golf course in the state park where we're staying and there are tons of geese and there's little baby geese running around. They're so cute. see picnic tables and grills. There's a restroom. Yeah, that was a drop box. You got a restroom over there. Hey. You can camp right on the water if you're in a tent, though. It's not a real big, it don't look like it's a real big area. I saw them back there, but I don't know that I got them on camera. So look, do you see that parking spot with the three posts? There's three campsites. So if you're grouping with friends and tents, that's really cool. Filming. Oh, filming trees. <laughs> Tim wants to camp there though. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, Lots of traffic for 
for a Sunday morning. community water I saw one water pole back there so this campsite does not have water it don't look like a lot of people stay here the spots where you park are all mossy looking here we go it looks like we're getting into a populated area there's restrooms and a park say reservations only too. Do have a somewhat lake of a lake view. It's a forested lake view. So we're it's stuck out on a peninsula. I don't think you're gonna get you can get to the water but it's gonna be a nice hike. And some bushwhacking. Oh, that's cool. Once we get up here at the end, I'll show you what I'm seeing. There's a little area so you can swing and look out on the water. But it looks like we've seen this whole park, guys. Yeah, so we're done for the weekend. We're going to go pack up and head home. Hope y'all enjoyed.